They're trying to get back to the palace. I have 22 motivation. I'm in peak levels of being a badass. Apparently. That's the waterfall. There wasn't really anything else here, was there? There's Hermititis. It's more or less the whole place. Yes, we will go back. To the palace. We must find the king's name. So that's where we got both of our party members. Over that last, like, screen and a half. <clears throat> well, there he is. Reveal him to me now, princess, and I will spare you. Search every r r every rock, my lord. No king, crown, or spear in sight. You will not find him. He could be anywhere in this world or another. Do not test me. My hatred for your father burns deep in my guts. You hide behind your rage, but you know that he is gone. Face the truth, or you are no better than him. So be it. I shall ring the beacon. Then we will all face judgment. You must not. The beacon summons a merciless evil. I've had. A, I've heard enough of her. Return her to her chamber. Now is our chance to save the princess. It's our real life phone interrupting the video game world. Oh no. Mind if I stop by in a few minutes? I guess not. I'd love to see you. Okay, see you in a bit. So that part is overlapping. We needed to go see the princess to find the king's name. And in real life, we were meeting Megan this weekend. I should get ready. Hi, have you been? Pretty, uh, not so good. Firing five people. Why is that? All of those things are true. Like, all of those things are true. The video game messing with me is relatively true, but I don't think that's one of the biggest problems, necessarily. And also, it just sounds juvenile, judging by how she reacted before. Trouble with mom? Poor Lily. She needs you, you know. So, how are you? I'm not sure. I've been thinking about what I said before, about joining the Marines, whether and whether we should break up. You said I can be better. Do you really believe that? Yes. I need a partner who supports me, but we don't have faith in one another. I'm sorry I called you selfish, but what have you done for anyone lately? I helped Isaac. What? You couldn't even keep an eye on him the other day. I saw him off by himself in the street. He rode his bike here to hide from his mom. We had a talk and I convinced him to go home. Wow, really? I didn't think you were good with kids. I guess I underestimated you. Maybe I should have more faith in you, but I still don't know if you have faith in me. How do you see me? What am I to you? You shine with hope. That's very sweet of you to say. What do you want for us? If I join the Marines and move away, do you want a long-distance relationship? I was gonna say I could move too, and then I remembered that's not what- <laughs> That's not really what the moving away part of going in the Marines means. Yes? We're playing a character that interfaces with everything through a computer anyway. This is hard for me. We've been together for a while now. I can see you've changed lately. You seem more motivated. I have to admit, I was wrong to call you selfish. You're a good guy, Gary. Boom, Megan's respect. 23 respect points now. Motivation points. 
It fills me with determination. You could be a great partner for someone, but it can't be me. I'm just not in love with you anymore, I'm sorry. Are you really sure? Yes, I'm sorry. I tried not to cry. Hug, Megan. Oh, no. Everything was kind of working and you're just going to take it all the points away. Damn it. So, how'd the talk with Megan go? I don't want to talk about it. Man, I'm really sorry. But you can't mope about it. Come out. We'll have some fun. And you'll stop thinking about her. Yeah, okay. What, am I going to sit around and play the game where these people are all in it? <laughs> Neil's driving? I thought his license was suspended after he rolled a Civic. I gave it back, finally. Enough time has passed. They must think I gave up on my Tokyo Drift lifestyle. But I just watched it twice in a row. Why? <laughs> Neil, no drifting. Neil is driving so I can drink 40s till I puke. Neil, you know the plan. What plan? Why are we at the Jumbo Mart parking lot? You're gonna get me fired. Relax, Operation Jumbo Fart is under control, right Neil? I hit all the security cameras with paintballs. Excellent work, Jude. Is the danger cart secure? Affirmative, my Girl Scout leader would be proud. It's just duct taped to the car we're gonna drive with somebody in the... in the cart? <laughs> oh no! Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, Dave's gonna die. I'm gonna kill Dave. I'm driving? Hit it, Gary! Oh, the mouse is how I hit it. Oh, this is a bad idea. I gotta be really- I gotta be careful, it vibrates. That's clearly dangerous. I'm pretty sure I can kill him right now. If I vibrate it too much. Am I going fast enough? Is this what you're into? I'm just like... Feathering it. I don't know. Maybe you have to. Make a very bad decision. Ah. Uh... Fuck it. Bad life decisions now. Oh my god. Ah, okay, okay, enough, enough. Fuck. If you didn't let go, I wonder if something would have happened. You know what I'm thankful for? Penises. Yeah, penises are rad. Not testicles, though. God went too far when he made testicles. Ugh. I puke two forties. I bet this is how astronauts feel in space. What are we doing? We're getting old, but we're still in the same place. Why are we still here? This place is our punishment. <laughs> I'd believe that. This place is my punishment for what? Not leaving, I guess. If you go anywhere, where would you go? We can already go anywhere. But you chose to stay here. What's here for you? I'm comfortable here. Ugh, I hate being comfortable. I feel like I'm slowly being comforted to death. I'm here because I don't know where else to be. Why is one place better than another? Everything's fine here. Great, even. What else could be out there? This is... This is starting to feel too real, how, like, this game and Night in the Woods are all, like, coming out and getting played while I'm, like, in my stage in life where everyone's moving and I'm thinking about moving and that, I mean, uh, this is, th these games are dwelling on the things I'm dwelling on and I'm like, no, st stop making me think about this right now. Uh. Responsibility. Gross. I've done a pretty good job avoiding responsibility. Responsibility is the enemy of fun. I always say, there's one reason to do anything, for fun, but in between the fun moments, I look around and I don't, I don't like where I am, and I don't know why. I know how you feel. 
spent a lot of time just trying to have fun. But I think that became my crutch. I know you hate responsibility, but that's what we need. We need to, we need to help someone, accomplish something, deal with problems. Achievements is what keeps us motivated. Isn't that what fun is about? I can't help other people if I can't even help myself. It's, I'm a mess. Me too. But I'm giving it a try. Sometimes I goof up, but you know, I'm trying. I feel good about that. You're a wise dude, Gary. <laughs> Very flattering pose every time. The spirits sing your praises in the sacred garden. Oh god. Minus three motivation from excruciating hangover. Cool, I'm back to where we started, basically. I did it. I've really accomplished a lot. We've come full- we've come a long distance of net zero motivation, basically. I noticed that you paid the electric and gas bills. I see you're working hard. I don't- I know you don't believe the world is ending. I'm sorry for the stress you must be feeling. But I did what I believe is for the best. God will reward those who give all they have. You're wrong. We have to believe in him when he calls upon us. Our faith is all we have. I hope you can understand. That doesn't mean you have to throw the money away. You could just think that. Just actively reckless and dangerous in a world where you have to know. Like, unless it's a, fic a fantasy fictional world where nothing- that's nothing like our world. She has to know that there's like a bunch of fake raptures all the time. You think you'd have like a little bit of reason to think like, maybe, uh, you know, maybe this one won't be right. Ah. Uh, it's fine. You're- let, uh, it's just your kid's fired five people in order to get his job secure. So that because of you throwing all his money away, but yeah, great. Just, just hide behind pure faith as the excuse to do anything. Now is our chance to save the princess. Hello? Hillbug monsters? Oh, they're tardigrades, aren't they? I think. Damn, everyone has fury in this game. Oh, the Asho Mage. Oh, Fire Skin. When the affected fighter is grappled, the grappler the grabber loses three hit points. Hmm. They could have made more icons, I gotta say. Just because they use the same icon for so many different spells. You just have to check what it is. Let's see, they're gonna be headed towards me. Let's let, let's let them come to me. If they start the fight with a bunch of buffs, then I should spend, start the fight giving myself buffs. As they have to slowly approach instead. Could dash over there. I don't think I want to. Do you have buffs again? I could make someone not get blocked. Or cannot be staggered. Screw it, you get a billion buffs. You can't, you can't be blocked. You have plus one damage and you have reduced SP usage. He is the ultimate. And now you get calm. Whoa, what was that? You did it. Oh, so that's him doing a fire attack. Launches a flame forward. One turn charge, one turn release, one turn recovery. This is a good example of what I was talking about when I said they should really have more icons. Like, him being fi on fire and him using a fire attack are the same icon. So the icons are functionally useless, and you basically just have to highlight them every single time to learn what everyone's doing every turn, because... the icons aren't... shorthand, which is what icons are supposed to be, otherwise there's no point of having icons. Alright, so no buff using right now. And dashing him won't work because he'll... Yeah. The only way to close a gap is to dash up here. Does dash use 3 SP? It's minus 2. I think the minus 2 it's saying here just doesn't apply to my reduced cost. I can dash up here. 
Are you also charging a fire? Yeah. What's gonna happen there? There's no reason to dash if that's gonna happen. Carefully avoid the fireballs if we can. Pro tip, don't get hit by fire, it's bad for you. Like, very bad for you. This might be a surprise. So he's doing fire next, so now I need to avoid that, right? Yeah, it's gonna hit him for three. Let's wind up by dodging down then. Pride might be the way to go. Make people get healed by doing attacks. But he's probably gonna get fireballed now, right? No, she is. So he gets to finish off his punch then. Strong punch, but he's moving, so I should punch this guy. Which will one-shot him. And that'll make a- we'll have, we'll have, we'll have a lot less dodging to do if I can just take out some of these people. Can you parry this fireball? No. That avoids the attack, but then they're going to be motionless afterwards. <laughs> My team avoided damage. You'll be motionless, but he can't attack this turn. You can rest. They're both prepping fire attacks again, I think. Yeah. Which is not good news for me if I want to avoid taking a big hit to the face. But they can't reach me from here. They don't have any targets they can actually target from here, so I should just hang out. Everyone's got SP on my turn, and they're about to spend all their AP atta SP attacking no one, because... The directions they can attack and don't have any of my units in them. So they're just gonna waste an action doing fire while we beat the crap out of this dude. How did you dodge? Oh, he completely left the area. Crap. Well then I'm gonna chase you. You can't escape me that easily. What should you do for a turn? Uh, make somebody calm? They can't really move for the second here, he has to avoid the fire damage. Well, boy do I have bad news for you. Get decked. <laughs> Which phase are they on right now? I think they're both recovering. It gives me a turn to attack them. He's dodging away, so I'm just gonna hit the other guy. Jab. He's blocking it. But what if I make you unblockable? I think that's the other character, though. Frail. Cannot block. Does he get hit then? It's just a jab, though, so it's not that strong, but it's something, I guess. Let's go chase this guy down, because he's running away. Oh, now he's stunned, which means I can follow up with a strong punch while he's stunned. Taking him out. Speaking of which, jab. He's resting, so I don't have to worry about him at all. He unfortunately does not- uh, yeah, okay, so you can't do two- you can't do two jabs in a row because you're already in that stance. I did not realize early on- I'm only re recently realizing that jab is a replacement for wind-up. It seems to lead to a strong punch, which is kind of a big deal to learn, actually. But he's just staggered, so he can't do anything, but I can't hit him because that's my only- my character's only attack. 
is kind of unfortunate. Um, Fury on him. And he can't dash downward, can he? He's out of- he's out of everything, isn't he? Rally all. Seems like there's no reason to use rest if he has rally all, because it's just so effective at filling up the- the SP meter for everyone on the team. Super powerful. You can't dash straight down, you have to dash in one of the directions the hexes are facing. So his ability to catch up with the party is, is not great. And we're just chasing him right now. We're gonna get ya. I'm gonna jab you again. What are you gonna do about that? Oh, you're gonna dodge? Is that what's gonna happen? What if I do a sweep? That won't hit you? That's disappointing. Hmm. That got confusing. Okay. That got really confusing. Let's not get stuck behind them if I can avoid it. it. Still kind of happens, doesn't it? That's so confusing. There's so much going on there. Oh, if I do that specific outcome, he actually gets away. Huh. So many strange dash patterns happened there. I ended up landing on one that actually screws it up. So if I do that... Wasn't he not getting through before? Huh. Let's just get past all these ideas. Uh, I'm just gonna wind up towards here, where he's gonna land, and punch him in the face. Let's make that simple. <laughs> oh, did I just undo that? Whoops. We'll just be surrounding him there. No escape. There we go. That's a better version of what I was going for. And then everyone decks him at the same time as he tries to block. But joke's on you, I'm gonna make you unable to block. Boing. And you're gonna get jabbed. And you're gonna get... Mm, mm, I double clicked on accident and had a scary moment where it wasn't, it wasn't gonna work out. There we go. Boom. Deleted. <laughs> I do really like the recap, followed by the especially slow final move each time. A spirit of the sacred garden is impressed by your performance. A thirsty cactus emerges in the sacred garden. While cactus blooms in the sacred garden, a gridge can perform prickle, minus one SP. When target ally grabs an enemy, that enemy loses one hit point, expires after six turn. That's a big deal, because throwing somebody is also a huge damage skill, as far as I can tell, so that means grab will also do damage, so at that point the guy just dies, right? Thank you, Winkali. Agridge. Hippo. But I must return to Onisha to convince him to stand down. You mustn't. My lady, I am sworn to protect you, and also I am identical to you. Epo, my bodyguard, I am sorry. You shine with a blinding hope. The game's saying what I say now. So you must let me go, for I am dying. Like all the king's creations, I shall, I shall wither without him. I am not truly the king's daughter. I am his creation, created in your image, Epo. We lied to you, Epo. The king took you as a child to be my template, just as when Kali will be the template for my husband. Then your love for me was a ruse. Our love is real, but you are only human. The king promised to create a more perfect version of you. Oh my god, he's gonna have a metal skeleton and everything. I am still your friend. And I am always yours, Winkali. Princess, you must tell us the king's name. Our auger egg will reveal his location, if only we know his name. His name? He... He has never revealed it. I know him only as the king. 
He keeps his secrets for, even from me. Why did the king create you? He promised that my future prince and I would inherit his kingdom. He has grown tired of the crown. Was the beacon summoned? The beacon summons the judge. It is said that the judge will be the end of this world. I do not know why Onija wants to ring the beacon, except to destroy us all out of spite for the king. Goodbye, princess. The king once told me that you are special, Winkali. You are guided by a spirit from another world. He said in dire times I should sing you this song so that your guarding, guiding spirit would hear it. You might find you're not as strong as you think you are. You might find you're not as nice as your mother says. But you're much- you're worth much more than you care to act. You might find a reason, you might find yourself. Where do I remember that song? I can almost remember. Ugh, oh, this hangover is too much, I need to lay down. Or go outside and talk to people. Yeah. No. So much for that. No. I always have an urge whenever I have a chance to sort of poke around and explore for a bit, but... It's not really that kind of game. You're very much just sort of walking to the next thing each time. In many ways, it's... It's, a. Uh, I, I kind of thought there'd be more, like, branching choices and a more dynamic story overall, but it's kind of like an interactive cutscene for a lot of the game. We're just kind of... kind of experiencing a movie in non-voiced form. Nap time, let's lay down. Oh, is it gonna be my dead dad? Or is he dead, or did he leave? I forget. You might find you know, that's not your father says But you'll walk much more than you can You might find You might find What's hanging, son? What have you got there? It's my toy. It's from Taco King's Kids Meal. Oh, it's the king. It's just a... It's just a Happy Meal menu. Oh, I see. It's the king. You understand what it means to put him in our, in our time capsule. We're sending him to the future, right? That's right. We'll bury our time capsule right here in the garden. When you see the king again, you'll be an adult like me. You should remember his name when you meet again. It's important to let your friends know they'd never forget him. What's the king's name? I wrote it on him right here, see? His name is... Oh... The king's name is written on the toy in the garden. 